lot of rot. You can, there's some mushrooms growing here, uh, which indicate of, uh, one of many fungal pathogens that, that does cause the decay, leaning right towards an area where they have a lot of children playing through here and they bring visitors in to see the natural Missouri bottomlands here. And they express some concerns about this fissure here. You can see the two stems have started to split, which is very common as uh, twin trunk trees or even co-dominant stems, which are two stems maybe higher in a canopy, will begin to push on each other. And then a, a uh, horizontal crack was noticed, which is a serious sign of imminent failure. And on probing, we were able to get it to go all the way in. We're still pretty surprised it's standing right now on its own. Um, any kind of high winds or anything should have knocked this thing down, but it's not. So. What we're here to do today is get it down controlled and safely. The tree definitely will not go to waste. This tree here will uh, be here above the ground uh, for quite some years and we'll bring the kids over here and they'll see how a tree produces food and then when it dies the food is still there and is still carried on by the tree. And so it's, it's part of the forest and part of the system and uh, it's, it's the bugs that, that, that will finally take the tree down all the way and then we'll process it. A lot of the material is going to be left uh, for visitors to come, explore, see the ecosystem, see what goes on inside a tree as it ages. And even though it won't be standing, it's still going to be out here for people to enjoy.